What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today we are looking at another very exciting new character card coming out in the Transformers TCG in Wave 2 Rise of the Combiners. Also, right, had a whole bunch of battle cards lately. Nice to get a couple of characters rolling. It is Grapple. Now, it was revealed by Drew Nolosco over on his page. Sorry, that sounds like I'm really butchering the pronunciation there. I do apologize. And of, of Drew's name, not Grapple. Grapple, I, I can... Let's just say I don't have to grapple with the pronunciation. Please stay, I promise that's the last terrible pun. So, Grapple, it's looking really, really nice, I think is the point here. Now, starting off, it's a 12 cost. 12 is extremely expensive. That is not a cheap card. That puts it right up there with stuff like Nemesis Prime. So... Being a 12 cost is fine. I'm just saying if you're going to be a 12 cost, you'd better be a pretty gosh darn good 12 cost. It means that you can partner with Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend, but that's it. That's your entire deck. That's all you get in the way of character cards. Not to mention we got star battle cards coming like the Redonkulous Leap of Faith, which you cannot play if you're playing a 25 card deck. 12 stars, very expensive. And if we start off looking at the stats here, it doesn't make sense. Because 12 is 50% more than your average cost, but 12 health is average health. And you've got a defense of 2, which is average, or 0, which is terrible, and 4, which is average, or 5, which is okay. The stats here do not justify 12 stars. So we'd better have some pretty gosh darn good skills. And the answer is, these skills are redonk. They're just not terribly easy to use. So, if we start off in bot mode then, when this battles, that is attacking or defending, and you flip battle icons of exactly four different colors, this gets plus four attack and plus four defense until end of turn. Now, if we add those on and we end up with an eight attack, four defense character, that is over-the-top crazy good phenomenal. In Wave 1, we only actually had one character that got as high as an attack of 8. That was the aforementioned Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend. And in terms of a defense of 4, well, we had 3 that had a defense of 4. We had Bombshell, one of them there in Sectacons. We had Dark Mount Cruel Overlord, one of them big tanks. And Demolisher, Devoted Decepticon, another one of them there are big tanks. And that was it. That was all we had. And 4 was the most, incidentally. We didn't get above a defense of 4. So, yeah. The stats, if you pull this off, are ridiculous. So I suppose we then have to ask ourselves, well, how do you get the 4 different colors? We'll get there in a minute. First, we probably need to have a quick look at the alt mode skill, save keeping you in suspense any longer. When you flip to this mode, you may discard your hand. If you do, and those cards have battle icons of exactly four different colors, do four damage to an enemy. Now, this again is an absolutely redonkulous skill, which we'll get to in a moment. But essentially, both the skills here depend on you having four different icons. Now, incidentally, as it stands at the moment, there are four different icons that we've got, or by the time Wave 2 comes out, that we will have, in the Transformers TCG. What we have is orange icons, flip them while attacking and it adds one to your attack. Blue icons, flip it while defending and it adds one to your defense. White icons, the first time you flip while battling, attacking or defending, you get to flip two extra cards, but only the first time. And green icons, which are new in wave two, at the end of the battle, attacking or defending, if you flip the green icon card or more than one, you may discard a card from your hand and pick up one, but only one, of the green icon cards. So essentially, what we're looking for here is green, blue, orange, and white. Now, if we look at the bot mode skill, exactly four different colors, 
in the alt mode skill exactly four different colors. Now, as it stands at the moment, that's a moot point. We only have four different colors, but we are future proofing here. So if we were to look at something like, I don't know, let's go for Slipstream. We mentioned her in a few videos lately. If we have a look at the wording in bot mode, when this attacks and you flip at least three different icons, well, back in wave one, that was redundant wording because there were only three different icons. So it was kind of pointless putting that in. Whereas now we've actually got four different icons, it is absolutely worth putting that in. So, you know, maybe we'll get a fifth one down the line. So if we ever do get a fifth icon, you can only play four of the icons. So what we really want to be doing there is playing a mixture of icons, and honestly, it's double icon cards that are going to help you out. So back in Wave 1, we didn't have all that much in terms of double icons. We had Rollout, which had both a blue and an orange pip. And we had Matrix of Leadership, which had both a blue and an orange pip. Now, Matrix of Leadership can only be put on Autobots. And if you don't put it on a leader, all it does is give you plus one attack. But having said that, Grapple is an Autobot. It's not a leader, but it is an Autobot. So it is doable here. And you could play this with Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend, who is an Autobot leader. But as we move into Wave 2, things get an awful lot more interesting. Because the double icon cards are coming back with a vengeance. Now we're looking for two different icons, but we've got Focus Fire, which has an orange and a green. We've also seen Scoundrel's Blaster and Noble's Blaster, both of which have a blue and a green. Now they are for Autobots or Decepticons only, so you'd probably only go Noble's Blaster here. Decepticon Crown, which is a white and a green, though it can only be put on Decepticons. It doesn't mean you can't put it in your deck, it means you'd better have a Decepticon in there or else it's not going to be great. And we've seen Recon System, which has an orange and a blue. Escape Route, which has a white and a green. We've seen Inverted, which also has a white and a green. Secret Dealings, which also has a white and a green. Smelt, which has a blue and a green. And Scrounge, which has an orange and a green. So actually, now that we're in Wave 2, things have gotten a lot more interesting. And now, essentially, we can start rolling and potentially making a build of this where you're reliably getting rid of four icons, either from your hand or while attacking or defending. And I talked in some of these videos lately that Secret Dealings was basically a rubbish version of Incoming Transmission. And Scrounge was basically just a rubbish version of Ramming Speed. But I did tell you that in both of those instances, the pips were what made them viable. And when you're playing a bot like Grapple, it's all about the pips here. So let's assume that you can get these skills going. If we go back to bot mode for a minute, you just get ridiculous skills. Attack of 8 is crazy high, defense of 4 is crazy high, and all of a sudden, yeah, you're a 12 cost, but 8, 12, and 4 gives you just about the best stats in the game. Obviously, for a non-combiner, combiners are off on their own. I mean, Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend has 8, 2, and 14, so you would basically be tied. You'd have two more defense, but two less health. And Nemesis Prime Dark Clone does get up to 7, 2, and 16 in bot mode, which is crazy high. But generally speaking, they are phenomenal stats. The thing to remember here is that you are flipping when you are attacking or defending, and you need four different colors. Now, that means that if you don't have any bold while attacking, you must have two cards that between them have blue, orange, white, and green. And while defending, you must flip two cards that between them have white, orange, blue, and green. That's not the easiest thing to pull off. Now, clearly, if you're attacking and you're using bold, let's say you've got something like Supercharge that gives you bold free, and now you're flipping over five cards, there's a very good chance you're going to hit this. And I should mention you are a melee character here, which is huge, because you get access to Body Armor, which gives you Tough Free, and Power Sword, which gives you Bold Free. 
I should also mention combat training here. Now, combat training is a bit of a pain, but combat training, if you've got a weapon, you get bold one, and if you've got an armor, you get tough one, and you've got the white icon, which is good. More on that in just a second. If you could somehow get a power sword and a body armor and a combat training, and you got bold and tough four, that would be amazing, but I don't think that's necessarily reliable. Now, the one thing we do need to mention here is that while attacking or defending, if you flip a white icon, which you should more often than not if you're playing the deck right, you actually are flipping over four cards rather than two, so that will increase your chances greatly. Bold and Tough will help, but if you've got the right mixture of icons, you're playing lots of double icons and lots of white, especially white as part of a double icon, you should be able to get this here. And like I've said, Redonk stats. If we have a look at the alt mode quickly, when you flip to this mode, you may discard your hand. If you do when those cards have battle icons of exactly four different colours, you do four damage to an enemy. And look, four damage to an enemy is absolutely ridiculous. To put it into context, we've got Bolt of Lightning, which is one of these that actually costs a star to put into your deck. It doesn't have a pip because it's so good. And it only does free damage. And if we look at characters that do damage here, we've got stuff like Nemesis Prime that does two damage. Thundercracker that does two damage to a melee enemy. We've got something like Starscream that does two damage if you've got two other planes in play. At the moment, you can't, I believe, play a free wide plane deck. So just doing four damage is nuts absolutely nuts with the added advantage that you will be playing rollout in this deck one would imagine and rollout does flick you into alt mode along with your other characters so that's going to help you because what you really want to do is flick to this mode then flick back to grapple and the last point i really need to make here is you've got to discard your hand with the alt mode skill now that's a little bit of an issue because then you've got no cards in your hand. And remember, you only get that skill if you've got cards in your hand that have got the four icons. So you're probably going to want three or four cards in hand to do this. So you are going to need some draw power here. That is rather important. Now, maybe you just want to use something like backup plan. Scrap your hand and draw three cards. And the advantage of backup plan is that it has a white pip. So that means, uh, well, like we said earlier, you, you're going to need some white pips in your deck. Or you could maybe play a character that has that here. Now, you have got Dinobot Snarl, the Wave 1 Dinobot Snarl. The problem with that is, I mean, look, if you flip it into it, while you've got zero cards in hand, you draw two. The issue here is that you've just used your flip on grapple. What I also kind of like here is Dinobot Sludge. When this attacks and you have fewer cards in hand than your opponent, draw two cards. So that's going to help you kind of get back on your feet a little bit. There are plenty of other characters that draw cards. None of them are perfect, but you're going to need some kind of draw power here. If you don't have any draw power grapple, the alt mode skill is going to take its toll fairly quickly. So this is not an easy character to use. But the fact that you're a melee character and can use body armor and power sword, and the fact that these skills are ridiculous, really do make me want to have a play around with this. No, it's not easy. No, it's not reliable. But in bot mode, you can have pretty much the best stats in the game. And in alt mode, you can do four cheeky damage. I mean... Goodness gracious, ladies and gentlemen. Goodness gracious. So there we go. Lots to unpack here. I hope I've illuminated a few things. And now I would very much like to hear from you and what you think about Grapple. So do please let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But please do remember the most important thing as always. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where we talk about Transformers and other things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching Wassy Plays.